gangster. He is a master. Gangster is a master, I think. Professor Jafari has been doing research since 1993 in topology, fuzzy and digital topology, functional analysis, mathematical physics. He is master in generalized closed set after uh, uh, Levin, I think. Uh, he has more than 25 years of teaching and research. He published more than 400 research papers and is the member of the editorial board of several mathematical journals. He has done review works for more than 20 journals and also for central board and mathematical reviews. Now, he said recently he published a review or uh, research article under Poincar Journal of Mathematics and Applications under the name. And I'm on a, I'm also one of the co-author co of uh, Dr. Jayadi Safari. Proud of you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He has been external examiner of more than 40 PhD students, mostly from India. He has been invited speaker to several international conferences and uh, workshops in mathematics. He is the further of new, uh, he is the founder of newly ongoing research center, mathematical and physical foundation of Ligas, Denmark. And uh, we also uh, proud to mention that Professor Lilith Divagar also one of the co-author of um, Sayyid Safari sir. And um, with this short introduction, I hand over the session to Professor Sayyid Safari sir. And welcome sir. Thank you. Thank you very much for your nice introduction, your kind you, word. Thank you very much for the organizer of this conference and you, which uh, your endeavors, you know, to establish this conference, you know, and inviting people and do lots of work, actually, you know. Thank you very much, and Professor Girana Chandra. Thank and, you, sir. Um, thank you very much for the, those who are hearing this and seeing this uh, presentation and also later on. So I start by presenting my paper concerning Rayleigh continuous function, but First of all, I go through some of the some of the um, some of the notions which are necessary to understand the the really continuous function which lives in the double fuzzy topological spaces. So let's see, I can find out with with this uh, Google Meet because I'm used to use uh, what is called uh, Teams. You know, let's see, I can do it. Uh, So, can you see yes, sir. my slide? Yes, sir. it is possible. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Thank you very much. Well, it was very easy. <laughs> so, really, continuous functions in the context of double fuzzy. There are lots of mathematics. I have. I. I hope that is not boring. You know. So, I start with um, the mass, the most um, elementary notions in my talk. I focus on the class of really continuous functions in the context of double fuzzy. But um, there are some notions like um, concepts of double fuzzy mean open and uh, mean closed and minimal and maximal open set, which are in, the, in their term actually very important when talking about fuzzy topological spaces. So I present some of these notions. Um, let me see. Um, and go through um, or report some properties in the Frehley continuous functions because there are lots of results actually, and those who are interested, I can send it to them. So the concept of fuzzy sets, as uh, those who are familiar with fuzzy topology introduced and fuzzy fuzzy theory introduced by Professor Zade, which I know, I which I knew actually, um, and um, since uh, it uh, its advent. Um, um, influence the whole of mathematics actually, and you can use this type of uh, this this type of sets to uh, define and apply to different parts of mathematics. Also applied, uh, also engineering. The theory of fuzzy topological sp spaces was introduced and developed by Chang in this paper. Atanasov introduced the idea of intuitionistic fuzzy sets. And Choker introduced the concept of intuitionistic fuzzy topological spaces. Um, then uh, uh, Samantha and Mandel, um, uh, they came up with a generalization of fuzzy topological spaces and introduced the concept of intuitionistic 
gradation of open set. In 2005, then Garcia and Robrak uh, find out that uh, this notion should be completed and um, to um, to make it more precise, you know, to 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 uh, to be tally with the real problems. So they um, they introduced the notion of the double, which uh, I use actually in some of my papers, recent papers, which I used it, for example, in um, in different types of continuity and the multifunctions. But there are a huge actually. Um, huge uh, application so there are there are the references for all those who are interested to know where they can find them so some of the notions um, 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 I go through to understand actually the the concepts and the terms so let X be a non-empty set I is unit interval which is closed and I0 is a half open interval from the left, and I1 is a half interval from the one. So we denote, as usual, the family of all quasi sets on X by I of X, and the over line 0 and 1, these two cons uh, constants, we denote the smallest and greatest quasi sets on X. And for quasi set lambda belonging to the family of uh, quasi sets, and the complement denotes by um, over line i minus lambda and if we have a mapping for example from the family of positives on x and to family of positives on y then its inverse can be also defined by um, f of lambda of y um, for each uh, actually for each lambda belonging to the family of um, fuzzy sets of x which is a union of of, of all the um, of the fx equal to one of lambda of x okay so and and it is clear that mu should be also belonging to i of y so all other notions are standard notions of fuzzy set theory um okay um, um we have uh, some definitions here, a double fuzzy topological space, because the objects I define actually, they live in a double fuzzy topological space. So if you have a pair of maps, which satisfy these conditions, as you can see it, then we say that the triple R is, a, is called a double fuzzy topological space. So, so we, uh, we establish what is a double fuzzy topological space, then we go um, further to find out what implications it has you know, if we study some of the properties of those sets live in there so if you take for example this definition a fuzzy set lambda is called an rs fuzzy open if tau of lambda is greater than or equal to r and tau star of lambda is lesser than r and this this is why the lambda is called an rs fuzzy closer if and only if the complement is an rs fuzzy open set then we have uh, uh, this result. Um, let um, um, we have again a double fuzzy topological space, and then the double fuzzy closure operator and the um, double fuzzy interior operator can be defined in this manner, which um, which uh, which we denoted with c tau of tau, uh, tau of tau star and uh, the interior operator, which i of tau of tau star, because and you can see the definitions here. So. And we should be um, notice that the sum of R plus S, and uh, the sum of R and S should be lesser than or equal to over line one. Um, yes. So um, I come back to it uh, if I have more time, but I go now. We are ready actually to to go through some of the results of rail continuous functions, which I work on. This is the uh, topics of my talk. So um, I find it, and if I have time more, so I return to these notions um, and um, report on some results, because this notion also can be used to define some other notions like uh, continuity and so on. Let me see. Yes, double fuzzy rail continuous functions. 
I have defined actually just before this, um, which um, we denote the interior because if you have, for example, a rail set, because rail set has no interior points, you know. So if an RS was a rail set, is if the interior operator is equal to our line zero and RS fuzzy density if the closure operator is equal to um, our line one. And, uh, and they are defined like this, you know, um, which I defined it just before. So an RS fuzzy set lambda of a double fuzzy topological space is an RS fuzzy rare set if and only if the complement is an RS fuzzy dense set. So the proof is very easy because you can take, for example, lambda fuzzy RS fuzzy rare set. Then the, um, there are two uh, uh, two possibilities. Uh, the interior uh, operator for lambda uh, is over line zero or the complement of is, is equal to over line one. So the closure operator of one, um, uh, the complement of lambda is equal to um, the, the overland wonder and and we can do the same in the same manner actually the, um, the converse condition you know if um, we take for example the complement of lambda the uh, uh, rs fuzzy sets then set then uh, we take the closure of it and it, it gives overland one uh, it means that the complement with respect to interior operator is equal to overland one and uh, it seems that we get the claim that the interior operator of lambda is over line zero. Another result, um, a, a fuzzy set lambda of a fuzzy topological space is both an R is fuzzy open set and R is fuzzy rare set, if and only if it is the over line zero set. So um, take, for example, lambda. Uh, to be a fuzzy set, um, which is uh, an RS fuzzy open set and uh, and an uh, RS fuzzy rare set, if and only if the, the 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 interior operator of lambda is equal to lambda, which is equal to over line zero. We have a corollary, um, um, which is uh, also easy to prove, because if you take a fuzzy set lambda of double fuzzy topological space, and it is both a uh, an RS fuzzy closed set and RS fuzzy dense set if and only if it is over line one set. So we have a remark here which um, um, uh, we show it with, with the help of uh, an example that um, a fuzzy set uh, of a double fuzzy topological space can be both an RS fuzzy rail set and an RS fuzzy dense set. So this is the example. Um, where we have mu one and mu two, and it, it, it can be seen that uh, uh, that mu two is both um, half and half fuzzy rare set and then half and half fuzzy dense set. Um, let's see, we have a um, fuzzy set living in the and double fuzzy topological space um, is both an RS fuzzy rare set and RS fuzzy dense set if and only if there exists neither an RS fuzzy open set contained in lambda nor an RS fuzzy closed set contain, containing lambda except for the all line zero and all line one respectively. So the proof is not so difficult. Uh, again, we take this fuzzy set, uh, which is both um, as a uh, RS fuzzy rare set and RS fuzzy dense set. Then by the definition of closure operator and interior operator, um, we get that this is equal to one and zero respectively. And this of course implies that lambda contains neither RS fuzzy open set except for the zero overline zero and nor contained in an RS fuzzy closed set except for overline one and uh, conversely. We have a remark here and an example. If we take for example an RS uh, fuzzy rare set lambda, uh, which is living in the um, double fuzzy topological space, which is both an RS fuzzy rare set and an RS fuzzy dense set, then lambda is neither an RS fuzzy open set nor an RS fuzzy closed set. So converse need not be um, true, as we can see it from the following example, um, which again, we define mu1 and uh, mu2 in this manner. 
So we top lambda, tau star of lambda. Then we show actually that uh, lambda is neither one and half, one and half fuzzy open set, nor one half and one half fuzzy closed set. But the interior operator is overline zero, and the closure operator, as you can see, is equal to this um, set, which is not equal to overline one. So mu2 is not and half and half fuzzy dense set. Okay, can you hear me? Sir, yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Sir. No, thank you. Sir. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So, um, um, you can see, for example, in this theorem that uh, all line one is an RS fuzzy dense set, but is not an RS fuzzy rare set, and uh, all line zero is an RS fuzzy rare set, but not an RS fuzzy dense set. So, arbitrary intersection union of RS fuzzy rare and uh, Fuzzy dense set uh, is um, RS fuzzy rare and respectively RS fuzzy dense set. You know, the, the results are um, easy to prove, actually. Um, uh, some of these notation uh, have used uh, when uh, we um, define the mean open set, maximal open set, minimal open set uh, uh, in another paper, which uh, uh, if I have time, so I go through them. So here, um, this this is the proof, and I don't go through it. Um, it is an easy proof, actually. Follows from the definitions. Um, finite union of RS fuzzy rare set need not be RS. This should be a remark, not an example. Um, let me see. This should be a remark. So the example shows that our claim, um, we have defined it as follow. The, um, and uh, the union need not be RS fuzzy rare set, OK? So you can see it here, for example, that uh, uh, we define mu 1, 2, and 3 in this manner. Uh, and you can see that, that mu 2 and mu 3 is are uh, both as a, uh, they are half and half fuzzy rare set, but their union is not an half and half fuzzy rare set. Um, a fuzzy rare set lambda of double fuzzy topological space is an RS fuzzy dense um, and respectively rare set if and only if for every RS fuzzy open, respectively RS fuzzy closed set mu satisfying lambda lesser than or equal to mu and respectively mu is lesser than or equal to lambda then we have the closure operator greater than or equal to lambda and respectively the interior operator lesser than or equal to mu. So um, we have here the proof because uh, uh, we assume that lambda is an RS fuzzy dense set then uh, we take uh, and RS fuzzy open set mu, which uh, lambda is lesser than or equal to mu, then the closure operator is equal to over line one, which is greater than mu, greater or equal. Conversely, uh, suppose that uh, we have the condition hold and we take the mu is equal to over line one, then mu is an RS fuzzy open set and lambda is lesser than or equal to mu. So the closure operator is greater than or equal to mu equal to, which is equal to over line one. It means that the closure operator is equal to mu. It is clear, yeah. Then um, lambda is an RS fuzzy dense set, and the other part can be proved similarly. You know, by the same token, we can prove also the other part. I have a remark here. A fuzzy set lambda of double fuzzy topological space is an RS fuzzy rare set if there exists no RS fuzzy open set other than overline zero contained in lambda. So this is also clear from the definitions. Um, the union uh, intersection of RS fuzzy dense and RS fuzzy respectively rare sets and RS fuzzy closed, it means that if you take the union of uh, RS fuzzy dense set and RS fuzzy closed set, then um, it is a fuzzy dense set. And if you take the intersection of um, RS fuzzy rare set and RS fuzzy open set, then 
we have RS fuzzy rain set. Okay, so this is the the proof of it. Um, this is a long proof, so I don't go through it. I go to the next result. Okay. Um, actually, in this paper, also we have established the fundamental notions uh, and their properties, so we can they can be used in uh, some other uh, 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 important notions of uh, of uh, double fuzzy topological spaces. Uh, uh, for example, in soft uh, uh, computing, for example, uh, in the context of double fuzzy or in other cases, you know. So, um, also in decision making, actually, or neutrosophic topology and theory. So, the closure operator, um, respectively, the interior operator, is an RS fuzzy dense. Um, and uh, respectively, RS fuzzy ray set. Whenever lambda is an RS fuzzy dense set, it means that if the closure operator is um, whenever lambda is a is an RS fuzzy dense set, if you take the interior uh, operator, then uh, which is uh, uh, RS fuzzy ray, whenever lambda is an RS fuzzy ray set, and this is also not so difficult to prove because we can take lambda to be an RS fuzzy dense set um, um, because the case of uh, rare set is uh, by the same token, you know, the proof. So we can see that the closure operator um, is Orlan 1, and this implies that the closure operator of the closure operator is equal to the closure operator of 1, um, which is equal to um, uh, Orlan 1, and this proves that the closure operator is, is um, let me move this um, an RS fuzzy dense set, and um, as I mentioned, the uh, proof of the RS fuzzy ray set is for the same token. So we have a new definition here: a fuzzy lambda of a double fuzzy topological space uh, is said to be an RS fuzzy closed ray, and respectively, RS fuzzy open dense set if the RS fuzzy set lambda is both an RS fuzzy closed set and an RS fuzzy rail set, respectively, an RS fuzzy open set and an RS fuzzy dense set. So let's see what implication this definition has, where we can use it. Here, um, if you take, um, if you have, for example, a Fuzzy sets living in the double fuzzy topological space. When you say it is an RS fuzzy closed rail set, if and only if lambda is an RS fuzzy closed set, which does not contain any RS fuzzy open set other than um, O line zero. So if you take lambda to be an RS fuzzy closed set, closed rail set, then we can see that the uh, uh, that the interior operator is equal to overline zero and the closure operator is equal to lambda. And this shows that lambda is an RS fuzzy closed set which does not contain any RS fuzzy open set other than overline zero. Another result says that um, a fuzzy set lambda is an RS fuzzy open dense set if and only if lambda is an RS fuzzy closed set which does not contain any RS fuzzy open set other than over line one. And the, 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 the proof also is very easy, similar to actually 318, but by using um, not uh, closed rail set, but also actually RS fuzzy open dense set. If you have, if uh, uh, lambda is such a set, then the interior operator is equal to lambda and closure operator is equal to over line one. So it shows that lambda is an RS fuzzy open set, which does not contain any RS fuzzy closed set other than over line one. Oh, I hope, I hope that is not boring for you too much mathematics. Yes, sir. This is very interesting. Um, so, 
let's uh, see that we have this double fuzzy topological space. We define the frontier operator. Um, it is equal to the um, uh, intersection uh, of the closure operator of lambda and the complement where uh, R is uh, belonging to I0 and is belonging to I1, and the sum is lesser than and equal to over line one. This notation I have uh, defined earlier, this is in half open uh, from the left and from the right. Um, if a fuzzy set lambda of a double fuzzy topological space is an RS fuzzy dense set, then the frontier uh, operator is the complement of the interior operator. So this is easy proof. I don't go through it. The same is true with uh, theorem 322. Uh, if a fuzzy set lambda of double fuzzy topological space is an RS fuzzy rail set, then the frontier operator is equal to the closure operator. This is also true if we take the complement here. So, so it gives the right, um, uh, it uh, actually prove our claim. A fuzzy set lambda of um, uh, living in the double fuzzy topological space is both RS fuzzy dense and RS fuzzy rays set if and only if the frontier is equal to over line one. This is the proof actually. If you take, for example, the frontier operator, which is equal to one, then we can see the closure in this section. Uh, uh, closure operator of lambda and the complement is equal to over line one. It means that the closure operator is equal to with, this, with respect to lambda is equal to uh, all line one, and the closure operator uh, of the complement is equal to all line one. But um, you can see that by by the closure operator uh, equal to all line one, we have that lambda is RS quasi denser, um, as as we mentioned before. You know, so from the second one, the complement. Um, we can see that uh, by some mathematical manipulation, we can see that the closure of the complement of lambda is, a, is um, the complement of, of the interior operator, uh, which is also equal to one. It means that the interior operator is equal to all line zero. That's why that uh, lambda is uh, an uh, RS fuzzy rare set. And the converse follows from theorem three to one. Um, <clears throat> okay, in a double fuzzy topological space, we have the following. Um, the O line zero is an RS fuzzy closed rail set and the arbitrary intersection of RS fuzzy closed sets, uh, closed rail sets are RS fuzzy closed rail set. So um, this is also uh, easy to prove actually. Um, so, um, because the first one, you know, as I said, uh, it is, it is, uh, it is obvious because you know that zero is an RS fuzzy closed rail set, okay? Uh, as we mentioned before. So the second one, we we, we take uh, the range of lambda y, lambda i, uh, which is a collection of RS fuzzy closed rail sets, and the closure operator with respect to lambda i is lambda i, and the interior operator is equal to over line zero. So if you consider, for example, the intersection of lambda i, which i belong into i, the closure operator, it is equal to the closure operator um, in this case. And uh, you can see that it gives uh, actually um, um, the intersection with uh, intersection of lambda i, which i belong into i. This proves that an arbitrary intersection of RS fuzzy closed set is RS fuzzy closed set. And we can do it um, with respect to also interior operators. So, is no big deal. So we have double fuzzy rarely continuous functions, which is, uh, we define it, you know, uh, I work actually with rarely fuzzy continuous function with Professor Valerio Popa, who introduced the notion in 19, um, I think I started in 1993, yes, um, some of my first um, research. And um, I contacted actually Professor Long uh, who also had a paper about it, but um, he went, um, um, he, is, he was leaving actually the university. So, so he introduced me to Professor Hamlet um, and we discussed it with him. Um, so this is a nice notion. Um, it's also some open questions. 
um, which um, until now, actually since then, uh, uh, I haven't uh, heard any, or have seen any, uh, uh, for example, about uh, really compact spaces. No examples. Uh, uh, so I think I published a paper in Croatia, so uh, a journal there. Um, so uh, until no no answer to that open question, you know, concerning really compact spaces. Okay, no problem. So we have now um, uh, a mapping, um, uh, which um, the domain is uh, double fuzzy topological space and the uh, range is also. So it's called double weakly fuzzy. Oh, excuse me, double weakly continuous if for each mu belonging to family of fuzzy sets on Y, where um, sigma of mu is greater than or equal to r and sigma star of mu is lesser than or equal to s and the inverse of mu is lesser than or equal to uh, interior operator of the inverse of the closure operator of mu or s which is defined on rs which which, which is um, um, adjusting actually with respect to double fuzzy case so double really continuous, this map is if for each set mu belonging to um, the family of fuzzy set on X, which sigma of mu is greater than or equal to R and this um, sigma star of mu is lesser than or equal to S, then um, there exists an RS fuzzy rare set, lambda, with um, la, uh, mu um, plus um, the closure of uh, closure operator is greater than uh, uh, equal to O line one, and rho is belonging to I of X, where uh, tau of rho is greater than or equal to R, and tau star of rho is lesser than or equal to S, such that F of rho is lesser than or equal to the union of mu and uh, gamma. Then we call, we call it actually a double fuzzy open if for each lambda belonging to I X, uh, with uh, tau of lambda greater than equal to r and tau of star tau star of lambda lesser than equal to s, then the sigma of f lambda is greater than equal to r and sigma star of f lambda is lesser than or equal to s. So it is clear that uh, every double weakly continuous function is double rarely continuous function, as we have also in the case of uh, uh, classical um, general topology. Uh, weekly continuous always implies really continuous functions. So in the case, and the following example shows the converse is not true. So here is the example. Um, we show you that it is not true, actually. Okay, um, let's see that we have a mapping again between two um, double positive political spaces. Um, let's see that this mapping is both um, double fuzzy open and double fuzzy continuous, then it is double weakly continuous. So the proof also easy um, follows from definitions um, and um, I don't go through it. So we have another definitions. Let's see that um, we have an uh, RS fuzzy open cover of the double positive molecular space is the collection which we take the lambda i belonging to the fuzzy sets of x with tau of lambda i is greater than or equal to r and tau star uh, is lesser than or equal to s uh, with the property that i belonging to j such that the union of lambda i is equal to all line one so this is a definition adjusting its uh, with respect to double positive molecular space Yes, um, a double fuzzy topological space said to be a fuzzy compact space if every RS fuzzy open cover has a finite cover. Oh, always this with compactness and so on, it is difficult to make examples. <laughs> so um, it is very nice if uh, somebody find a nice um, proper actual example for this. So we have another definitions. Uh, double positive legal space said to be double ready fuzzy almost compact if for every RS fuzzy open cover of um, this double legal space um, 
and definitions we know that um, which we take the lambda i again um, in the fuzzy uh, fuzzy sets of um, uh, the family of uh, fuzzy sets on x and tau of lambda i is greater than or equal to r and tau star of lambda i is lesser than s then there exists a finite subset j zero of j such that the union of this uh, with rho i which is rho i belonging to um, i of x are rs fuzzy rare sets so this is actually a a, a difficult uh, notion to make example, you know, uh, actually rare uh, continuous function, rare compactness, and those notions related to it, it is just, it is not that easy to make example. One can one can do it, but it it is difficult actually. Um, okay, again we have a, a mapping which is um, double rarely continuous. So if um, the range is, um, excuse me, if the domain is fuzzy compact, then the range is really fuzzy, almost compact. And the proof is usual, as usual, you know, this is not so difficult to prove. Um, another, uh, we have a proposition. If you take this mapping, uh, fuzzy double open, and if it is uh, injective, then we can see that it preserves are as fuzzy rare sets. This is also trivial. trivial yes. Let's take this mapping, uh, which is um, double uh, rarely continuous and at the same time double fuzzy open and another mapping which goes from um, the, the range of F to another double fuzzy topological sphere is called Z. Um, which is uh, dub, double fuzzy open and uh, injective, then we can see that the composition uh, uh, of G of F is double really continuous. This is also not so difficult to prove. Okay. Um, we have a mapping which is double fuzzy open onto um, function, it means it's subjective, and G is any function such that the um, composition of G of F is double really continuous, then G is double really continuous. This is also, we have the similar results in general topology, but we have proved it also in double really um, what is a continuous case. This is the proof. We have a definition here which concerns um, fuzzy weak rare space. Um, if um, for every um, fuzzy open set lambda, there exists an RS fuzzy rare set, which the sum of a lambda and closure operator with respect to R is greater than uh, and equal to over line one, such that the tau of the union of those two, um, let's call the maximum, is, is greater than or equal to R, and the tau of star is lesser than and equal to S. So another um, result. Let's see, we have a double fuzzy continuous, which is bijective, and um, the range is fuzzy big rare space. Then we can see the closure operator of the inverse uh, function uh, of lambda is lesser than the inverse of lambda union rho, which is rho and lambda both belonging to i of x. So this is also a proof. Um, which respect, with, with respect to fuzzy weak rail space. Um, and um, you can see that, uh, of course, we, we, this is fulfilled and there exists an other fuzzy rail sets. Rho, which this is, um, uh, this condition, condition is which will, uh, fulfilled then such that the sigma of the union is greater than or equal to R and sigma star of the union is lesser than uh, and equal to S. And um, by the hypothesis of the theorem, because this double fuzzy continuous, then we can see the inverse of the union is rare or fuzzy open. So it is um, obvious that lambda is lesser than or equal to union of lambda and rho, and hence the inverse is lesser, the inverse of lambda is, uh, is equal, uh, uh, lesser than and equal to the inverse of the union of lambda and rho. So the interior operator with respect to F minus one lambda is lesser than and equal to F minus 
uh, Lambda and uh, uh, union with rho, which is our claim. Another definition, a double fuzzy topological space is said to be a, a fuzzy rarely housed of space for every or each pair lambda and mu belonging to i of x, which these two are different. Um, then there exists an RS fuzzy open set row one and row two belonging to i of x, which are also different, uh, and the fuzzy rare set belonging to i of x, it is gamma. Then the uh, sum of row one and the closure uh, operator is greater than and equal to all line one and row two plus closure operator is greater than and equal to all line such that lambda is lesser than rho, union of rho i and gamma and mu is lesser than and equal to rho two union with gamma. Another result here, which uh, we are using um, uh, uh, mapping actually to show that how this function uh, the consequences of this notion because we have a this this mapping is a double fuzzy open injective and uh, the, uh, the the domain is fuzzy rarely house of space then we can see the range is also a fuzzy rarely house of space and this is not difficult to prove follows from the okay I don't say thank you very much because I can see I have more time. So I go back and um, here for those who are interested to do some research, um, also generalize this notion we have introduced. So uh, <clears throat> we have some other notions here, um, which one can use actually to um, to to other uh, notions of continuity, multifunction, you name it, you know, uh, lots of different. When, once you have defined a notion, you can use it everywhere, you know, in this case, actually. Um, <clears throat> um, let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, mean open sets. I think I have half an hour, yes? Dear? Yes, sir? I have half an hour, yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. so I go through. I report on some 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 results and definitions. Oh, yes, and sir. Interested, yes, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. You can you can interact with our students also, sir. Students also want to talk to you, sir. Some okay. of uh, some of your students, yes, sir. Okay, so you can see that. Uh, okay, so I start if there are some questions. Okay, no problem. So uh, we have an RS fuzzy open set lambda of double fuzzy topological space. We say that it is a mean open set. If there exists two distinct proper RS fuzzy open sets, lambda one and lambda two, which are different from lambda, such that uh, lambda one is lesser than lambda and lambda is lesser than lambda two. So we have an example that's showing that the union and the section of RS fuzzy, RS fuzzy mean open set need not be RS fuzzy mean open set, which is showed by the following example. This is the example. Um, so it's showing that actually in this case, uh, uh, the union of mu one and mu two and the intersection are not because it gives mu four in the first case and the second case in mu three and they are not RS fuzzy mean open sets. So an RS fuzzy closed set lambda of a double fuzzy topological space is said to be an RS fuzzy mean closed set if there exists two distinct proper RS fuzzy closed sets such that this condition is fulfilled. You know, it means lambda is between lambda one and lambda two. It is similar to other definitions in the case of the closed case, closed set actually. So the result which follows is that an RS fuzzy open set of a double fuzzy topological space is an RS fuzzy mean open set if and only if its complement is an RS fuzzy mean closed set. So this is the proof um, of our claim here. It follows actually from the definitions. Then you have uh, uh, notions of para open sets. Um, 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 which uh, somehow is related also to minimal open set and the maximal open sets. 
So, um, if you take, um, for example, uh, an RS Fuzzy open set, um, then we say that it is an RS Fuzzy Pro open set if it is neither RS Fuzzy minimal open set nor RS Fuzzy maximal open set that take a minute. So we go, we can actually define it later what I mean by this, you know, because um, I have uh, here, um, as usual, these uh, definitions can be used uh, in the following theorem, because you can also uh, define the, uh, the uh, product closeness in the same sense, because you take the complement of it, then we have this theorem, which is a proper RS quasi para open set, is an RS quasi mean open, and vice versa. So this is this is the proof. So a proper RS quasi para closed set is an RS quasi mean closed set, and vice versa. It is the same like the other one, and so the proof is also by the same token. Um, we have. Um, um, we have um, uh, some results concerning the maximal open and maximal closed. So in this case, um, we can see as a, as, as a, if I want to define a non-zero fuzzy open set, let, let's take, for example, lambda, which is not equal to over line one, um, leaving in a fuzzy topological, double fuzzy topological space, we say that it is a RS fuzzy minimal open set if any RS fuzzy open set which is contained in lambda, and remember lambda is not equal to over line one, is either over line zero or lambda. So similarly, a non-zero RS fuzzy closed set, if you take, for example, move which is not equal to uh, over line one of a double fuzzy topological space, when we say that this is actually RS fuzzy minimal closed set, if any RS fuzzy closed set which is contained in mu is either all or or line zero or mu. Okay, we should remember that again that mu is not equal to all line one. Okay, this is definitions of the maximal and minimal open sets, and uh, closed sets are defined the same manner. Okay, so we have these results you now concerning these notions. So, as you can see. And uh, as you can see here, uh, we have uh, minimal open sets and um, RS fuzzy open set, which gives this. Um, and also, if you take, for example, lambda gamma, which are uh, RS fuzzy uh, minimal open set, then we can see the inter intersection is zero or lambda is equal to gamma. See so here, we have a um, maximal open set and mu is a fuzzy, RS fuzzy open set. Now, let's, let's compare with this. And we have this, and uh, if lambda and gamma are RS fuzzy maximal open set, then the union is equal to one or lambda is equal to gamma. So um, there are, one can, of course, there are some consequences of these definitions and give some results, properties, because it is inter interesting. If we take, for example, new one, which is um, RS fuzzy maximal open, and new two, which is RS fuzzy minimal open set of a double fuzzy political space, then, um, we have two possibilities, either uh, mu2 uh, mu is lesser than mu1, or the space is RS fuzzy and disconnected, you know. Um, we have another here. Um, yes, there are also, we found some other conditions, actually, how they are related, you know, when we have a double, Fuzzy connected topological space. When we are talking, for example, about minimal closed sets and um, uh, uh, and maximal closed sets. Yes. Let me see if I can find it somewhere else here. What we mean with that? Um, okay. Um, okay. 
So I don't go through these results. Um, we can see that um, uh, these conditions also are fulfilled. You know, there are lots of results we have applying concerning these notions. Let's see that there are two distinct RS fuzzy minimal open sets and RS fuzzy mean open set in a double fuzzy vulgar space. Then we can see the intersection of the two RS fuzzy maximal open set is non empty. Another result which uh, we use actually RS fuzzy minimal open sets and uh, RS fuzzy mean open set in a double fuzzy vulgar space. If you have these two distinct notions, you know, then we can see that then the union of these two RS fuzzy minimal open set is not equal to one. This is the proof. This is a lengthy, that's why I don't go through it, but it is based on theorem 3.9. Um, um, okay, we have two distinct um, RS fuzzy maximal closed set and an RS fuzzy mean closed set in a double fuzzy vulgar space, then we can see the intersection of the two RS fuzzy maximal open set is non empty. Um, we can take uh, again uh, a, um, a um, the, these two dis distinct as, as the theorem 316 in 317, and um, we have a maximal closed and uh, mean closed sets. Um, then, then the intersection of the two RS fuzzy minimal uh, closed sets. Because uh, in 316, we have maximal. In 317, we have minimal. And uh, it is not equal to 1. In this case, it is, uh, is non-empty. And here, it is not equal to 1. Um, we have also proved these two terms. Double fuzzy minimal open set, which I have defined it here for you before. So, But we have some other results here uh, concerning these notions. Um, uh, uh, we can see that um, when we have um, uh, an uh, RS fuzzy minimal open set and an RS fuzzy open set, then we can see that uh, lambda intersection mu is zero uh, or lambda is lesser than mu. So if lambda and mu are RS fuzzy minimal open set, then the intersection is zero or lambda is equal to gamma. Uh, so it is called the minimum maximum, but I call them intersection and union, yes. Another, some other results, uh, uh, which I don't go through it, um, because there are some special results actually here, um, because uh, concerning existence theorem actually, that uh, here, uh, if, if, if we have a as uh, uh, lambda and lambda r are uh, fuzzy minimal open sets you know double okay and um, for any i belonging to delta okay so if lambda is lesser than equal to union of lambda i which i belong to delta then there exists an element j of delta such that lambda is equal to lambda j so this is this is the proof and we have another theorem here which um, Concerning also the union case, if we take the union on intersection with lambda, okay, then it gives zero actually. But we should assume that lambda should not be equal to lambda i. So this is the proof. Others, I don't go through them. Let me see. Uh, some other results. Okay. Um, again, here um, concerning actually RS fuzzy minimal open sets. Um, uh, if you take, for example, the indices i and j belong to the delta, which are different, the same is true with lambda i and lambda j, then uh, we can see lambda i, which is defined in this, in this manner for every for any j belonging to delta. So, um, which we take the lambda i and we take the complement with respect to it, it's, it's, its complement when, when i is belonging to um, the complement of j here, you know, delta minus j. So this is the proof with some mathematical 
manipulation when we get the result. Some other, um, when uh, the union concerning actually others fuzzy closed sets, you know, you have the same with minimal open sets, and the same conditions, and then we prove that uh, if this uh, are, uh, is fulfilled, then we can see that the lambda i is an R S fuzzy closed set for any i belonging to the. This is the uh, simple proof, follows from um, the foregoing actually term. So here uh, I have defined it before. Uh, I told that. Um, once you have defined minimal open and maximal open, then the complement are also easy to prove, to, to define. So this is a definition here, and follows from that, a theorem here that a non-zero subset alpha of a double fuzzy topological space is an RS fuzzy minimal open set. And here, the definition of, you know, you know, the definition is here, as I told before, um, just to mention it once more, if you take a non-zero RS fuzzy open set, which is not equal to one of a double fuzzy topological space, say to be RS fuzzy maximal open set, if any RS fuzzy open set which contains lambda is either one or lambda. And we can define uh, uh, RS fuzzy closed set uh, in the same manner, which is called RS fuzzy maximal closed set. So, okay. So we have this result, um, which follows from the definition, definitions. You can see that if we take a non-zero subset alpha of double fuzzy topological space, we say that it is a RS fuzzy minimal open set if and only if the complement is an RS fuzzy maximal. This is easy to prove. A non-zero subset alpha of a double fuzzy topological space is an RS fuzzy maximal open set if and only if the complement is an RS fuzzy minimal closed sets. So it comes with more, some more proper actually results here. So we can see that <clears throat> once we have a uh, some objects um, living in this uh, double positive local space, uh, and it is uh, RS quasi maximal open, and uh, mu is RS quasi open set, then we can see that lambda uh, union mu is one, or lambda uh, or mu is lesser than gamma. So um, if we take um, mu and gamma and take them as RS fuzzy maximal open set, then we can see the union is one or lambda is equal to gamma. This is the proof of the theorem. Actually follows from the definitions. <clears throat> so another special proof that if you have three uh, RS fuzzy maximal open set, uh, which uh, the intersection of the two first is um, lesser than lambda three, then either lambda one is equal to lambda three or lambda two is equal to lambda three. This is the proof. But if we take the same, actually, uh, maximal open sets, three of them, which are different from each other, then we can see the intersection of lambda one and two is less is not lesser than or equal to lambda one and lambda three, so this is the proof. Now we have a special case which the numerical value of delta is greater than or equal to two, and if lambda i is an RS fuzzy maximal uh, uh, open set for any i belonging to delta and uh, lambda i and lambda j are different. Um, also, the indices are different, and we can see the complement with, with uh, respect to the inter intersection of lambda i, which i belonging to delta minus j, is lesser than lambda j for j belonging to delta. And also, uh, the intersection, if i belongs to delta minus j, then lambda j is different from zero for any j belonging to delta. Another, some other um, results here we have. So uh, the case when the, the numerical value is greater than or equal to three, so it's the same as uh, the theorem we went through. You know, I, I mentioned, I didn't go through the theorem, the proof of it, but I mentioned it. The same, in the same manner. The, the same is true with three, two, one. Um, we prove it in the same manner. So another corollary, um, which, um, uh, 
uh, now we take uh, some subset, pro uh, proper non-empty subset of delta, and then prove some results as this. Another in uh, result 323, um, Again, under the condition that numerical value of delta is greater than or equal to two, and uh, if we take again um, uh, an uh, RS fuzzy minimal open set uh, such that lambda i and lambda j are different, uh, then we can prove also that the lambda j, uh, as you can see it here, is equal to this uh, expression, mathematical expression. Okay, this one. So this is the proof. Here, another special proof uh, at uh, uh, the result. Yes? If lambda i. No, okay. If lambda i is an uh, RS quasi maximal open set, uh, taking air, any i belonging to delta, and again, lambda i are dif is different from lambda j. Um, if uh, if delta is a proper non-empty subset of delta one, then uh, then this expression is our claim that it is true. Uh, so and this is the proof, and uh, uh, it is lengthy. That's why I don't go through it. But it depends actually this the proof on the following theorem. It means this theorem, you know, three uh, thirty two. So. Okay. Um, yes. Um, so I don't go through these results. Let's see that um, again concerning maximal open set, not minimal, so maximal open sets. And um, we have proved some theorems. Let's go through this one. Um, we have two fuzzy subset of X and lambda one. Union with lambda two is equal to one. The intersection is a fuzzy RS fuzzy closed set, and lambda one is an RS fuzzy open. Then lambda two is an RS fuzzy closed set. So the proof is, uh, as you can see it. So um, um, okay. Let's see. Um, we assume actually if, if this condition is fulfilled, actually so so with some mathematical manipulation we can use and uh, prove that prove the claim that lambda two is an RS fuzzy closed set. Some other results, which I don't go through it. Some special cases. Um, which also um, RS fuzzy maximal open sets are involved and RS fuzzy open sets. So follows from the foregoing results, actually. Um, okay, um, let me see. Uh, Okay, here we can see that uh, we have a remark every RS fuzzy pro open set, as you mentioned uh, before. This is the case that when um, we have an RS fuzzy open set, but the reverse implication may not be true, as shown by the following examples. I mentioned about the paracrow set, so we have examples here. There are some other results, but I don't go through it, so I stop here. And um, thank you very much for um, to organizer of the t uh, the, the conference. Um, and those who are hearing me, um, seeing me, thank you very much. So I finish it here <laughs> because it was too much mathematics. Um, maybe it's, uh, boring for some. <laughs> But that's mathematics, you know, so. <laughs>
thank you very much thank you sir uh, sir some of your students are uh, would like to interact with you shall we sir yes 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 sir uh, cordial greetings uh, professor first i would yeah. like to thank you for this wonderful lecture i enjoyed this session and um, now my doubt is what is the impact or uh, effect of using the double fuzzy weak continuity over the fuzzy continuity in a topological space uh, double fuzzy topological space uh, is make it actually you know if you take for example intuitionistic fuzzy, fuzzy topology which is a generalization of it then this generalizes intuitionistic actually uh fuzzy topology and you can see that it make it more uh, precise and more telling with the use cases which is related to the real world you know in contrast with the platonic mathematics you know what i mean so it makes it much more uh precise you know um with different angles you can see it because because of the way we define it you know this is the difference you know if you know the definition you can see that the uh, how it uh, what is the impact of it as i sh as i have shown it with the with the results you know the results i showed you yes in my talk oh okay professor thank you professor thank you there are a huge uh, possibilities actually to do research in this uh, this area because it made it more uh, precise uh, concerning the intuitionistic case you know so um i think it is it is it is um a good possibility you know to generalize those notion convert them to double fuzzy topology in the in the double fuzzy topological spaces you know also in other cases actually you can one can do it you know i think there are some papers you know which shows um these possibilities yes yeah Uh, professor am i audible hello yeah good morning to you professor this good is mondish hi yeah may i ask you a question please yes of course yeah is it possible to extend this sort of continuous to product space to what excuse me yes is it possible to extend this sort of continuous functions on product space <laughs> I don't understand the last one. Uh, on product space. Notion. What? Excuse me. Is it possible to extend this sort of continuous functions on product spaces? On product. For space. What spaces? Product. Product. Cartesian. Of course. Yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. You can do it. Yes. I think you can do it. Yes. Is it diverse actually? Uh, quadrate twice. continuity as well as the product and is it differs any sort of behaviors uh of course there are uh, what i think it, you can use it of course yes you can use it why not yes yes you can use it yes okay thank you because if you can use it in a continuity case then you can use it in other parts you know also in lattices lots of different you know there are huge applications you know but but the 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 problem is how you will define it so it is tally uh with the with the notion which is consistent you know what i mean uh it is very important how you should define it and the definition is well defined you know what i mean and the, uh, it doesn't give uh, complication later on you know it is very 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 important you know so we have to focus on the way of defining it right yes okay bro. thank you thank you thank you good morning professor rafi professor good morning thank you for the lecture professor i have a question may i ask you a question sir of course sir, uh, how do we generate a double fuzzy from fuzzy topological space uh as in the definitions i mentioned you know because you have a, a double you know you have s and r you know in my definition i mentioned that 
how you can do it because a, a double uh, fuzzy topology is a um, pair of maps, you know, which goes from tau and tau star. If you take, for example, from uh, the domain is the family of fuzzy sets on X and the family of fuzzy sets on Y, then it should uh, fulfill some properties. You know what I mean? This is this is not my definition, actually. This is uh, mentioned in, let me see, in, uh, in uh, Choker and in 20, it's, um, it's Samantha and Mandal, you know, and uh, on intuitionistic gradation of open sets, fuzzy sets and systems, 2002. You know, there are three conditions should be fulfilled, you know. It means that uh, when you, once you have this map, these two mappings, um, which goes from uh, ix to i, then you can see that the tau of lambda is lesser than the complement of uh, 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 tau star of lambda. And um, when, once lambda is belonging to i of x, and uh, if you take tau of the um, intersection of lambda and lambda one should be greater than equal to a tau of lambda one intersection with tau of lambda two and the same is true actually with tau of star which is um, which is if you take the intersection of lambda one and lambda two it should be uh, lesser than and equal to tau star of lambda one uh, union with uh, tau star of lambda two okay then uh, then the uh, if you if the the third uh, actually because it is a triplet okay and uh, condition is that if you take the tau of the union of lambda i, it should be greater than or equal to the intersection of tau of lambda i. The same if you take the tau star of union of lambda i, it should be lesser than and equal to um, union of uh, tau star of lambda i. Because I have actually defined it before, you know, in my talk. So this is the difference, you know. Uh, it is not uh, quite the same uh, notion. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Greetings, sir. It's my pleasure to let you know that around 100 members are attending your session through online. Thank you, Thank you very much. I'm very happy. So it sir. wasn't b boring, maybe. <laughs> maybe they are forced to hear me. <laughs> Yes, sir. Thank so you. around 100 members are attending your session through online, and nearly 150 participants, including Anjak math students and professors, are being Thank lectured you. in offline through a single ID, sir. Thank so you very much. In the session, you have lectured to more than 250 participants, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm very happy. I am ha very happy. I hope that some of uh, our researchers, also uh, students, are interested to do research in this part. Yes, I'll be very you. happy if I have Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. So Thank this you. is the first time in Anjak, sir, to have yes. a speaker from abroad lecturing us. Okay, that's very abroad. nice. I'm happy to <laughs> to lecture Thank here. You. Not the first time, maybe later on us also. May <laughs> give some courses actually, no problem. <laughs> it's our pleasure too, sir. So you have no idea of uh, how useful your lecture is to us, sir. Thank you. And we also feel very privileged to have you, sir. Thank Hope you, you do. Much. The Hope honor you is mine. Thank you. you. Hope you visit our campus when you visit India. Of course, of course. I hope so. I hope so. Thank because you. of Corona, I was actually decided to travel uh, to uh, what is called Calicut, but um, because of Corona, I cancelled. Oh. I would like to see India. Yes, of course. This is a very nice country. Yeah. Thank you. The good researchers. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, sir. We are, we are expecting much. you. Okay. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. So we like. We'll wind up with the thank note. So to okay. express gratitude in words, here is Mr. C. Jayaprakash, sir, Assistant <laughs> Professor of Department of Mathematics, Sanjak. Sir, over to you. Thank you, Sangreshwari. I, I thank uh, uh, Dr. Sayyid Safari, sir, for his uh, wonderful uh, lecture on this topic uh, and uh, clearing the doubts of our uh, students. I thank you so much, sir. Uh, and also, I thank for uh, your valuable time spending on this con conference. I also thank uh, Dr. P. Nyashandra, Madam Organizing Secretary, for arranging this uh, lecture on this uh, occasion and also giving a nice introduction about our, the, our speaker. I thank all the participants and, and, and I thank everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your work. Thank you for your endeavors to establish this conference.
to make it possible. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Professor. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Professor Shan sir, we will meet uh, after 10 minutes, sir. Okay. Professor Shan Okay. The same link, sir. Thank you.